What's up guys? I want to give you a little update on my status. Um, if you haven't heard, I fractured my L2 lumbar. Um, I actually <laughs> did a tutorial on it the following day and uh, took some heat for it. Man, you guys are awesome. You guys have uh, had nothing but good advice to give me and man, it sounds like um, a lot of you guys have had back problems. I've had probably close to 10 emails um, since Tuesday of you guys saying, you know, um, and just the, the common word with back problems is, you know, you want to uh, obviously take it very easy, but because it's such a critical thing, what you do now and what I do now um, can affect, you know, down the road. Now, I'm probably going to live in... To to a point with a degree of pain for the rest of my life. Um, it's not like the pain's unbearable. Um, you know, for those of you who haven't had a back problem or anything like this, but at times it is, and it seems like uh, at nighttime. Maybe that's because you know I'm winding down, which I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I haven't left the house um, except to go to my my doctor appointment, and. Um, and that's hard. Getting out of the car is extremely hard. My family's pulled together um, like I've never seen before. And I'm very thankful. I mean, I can't put my shoes on. I can't put my socks on. I can't put my pants on. I can't lean over. And that's when when my back starts talking to me is when I, if I barely t like lean over. You can feel it. It's in my lower back, you know. So from my waistline up, it's it's probably that high. And, you know the primary pain spots dead center there where the fracture is and sometimes it'll kind of try to wrap around it hasn't done that a whole lot lately but night times are bad and um, in the mornings are bad getting out of bed is tough um, last night I went to bed and I um, I hadn't tried this yet I laid on my right side and I'm one of those sleepers man that toss and turn like I'll sleep but it's like phew, Watch out, man. I'm hitting Jolene in the face and stuff. Um, I've always been like that. And last night I went to sleep on my right side, <clears throat> facing Jolene, and woke up like seven hours later in the same exact position. I'm afraid to move uh, as part of it. And um, so a lot of this, to to uh, keep me from potential further pain, a lot of this has to be, you know, you got to think in your mind first before doing anything. I spend a lot of time just laying down in the most comfortable spot that I can. Um, sometimes it helps. I notice when I, um, I don't know, maybe you guys can answer this. I don't know why, but when um, I stand up and just maybe walk slowly, you know, through the front room or down the hallway, and definitely slowly, but uh, that sometimes I don't even feel the pain then. Uh, it, it seems like more when I'm not moving around. Maybe it's because I have time to to uh, notice all the the little things or big things in this case. But um, I'm hanging in there. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I tried. I think I've done maybe two lessons since uh, the accident, and uh, I hung in there, man. Uh, you know, like sitting here right now, it's fine. Um, this has like armrests on it. I notice things that have armrests. I could use both my hands and I push myself up. I just got to, you know, or lift kind of with my legs, but I need my arms to help keep that pressure off that lower area. Because believe me, man, I do not want to be messed up the rest of my life. And if I am, uh, <laughs> I don't want it to be real bad. And now is the time uh, to really, really take it easy. So that's what I've been doing. I do have to attempt tomorrow to go into... The one music store that I still teach at, it's a local store in town. Obviously my wife's going to have to drive me and I'll bring my own chair and, and like a pillow to put behind it. Um, comfort's really what it's about um, for me. Uh, the, you know, if you sit and you're not comfortable and you just make yourself stay there, um, that can't be good. And then I, I end up feeling it later at night and stuff. So, But i got to get back, you know, trying to get into the, the teaching thing. Uh, you know, gracefully, as gracefully as I can. So tomorrow's going to be the, the test run. And like I said, I can't drive. 
Um, so my wife will have to bring me and just like everything obviously takes way longer. You know, I can't shower by myself because I can't bend down to turn the knobs and you know, it, it really changes your life, you know. Uh, for those of you that have never had an accident like this, I really hope you never do wind up in this situation. It's really no fun, man. No fun at all. Um, I mean, the pain that I felt the day it happened was excruciatingly bad. It was real bad. Um, on the day to day, it's not as bad, you know, obviously, and I do have some pain medication, which I'm not happy. Well, I'm happy that I have it, but uh, just not a big fan of it. But you got, you know, there's times in life where you got to make a decision, and if there's any ever a time that that validates it, it would be having a fractured back. Having your back broke is just it affects everything you do. So, anyways, I wanted to just pop in um, and, and tell you guys, give you an update. Um, RockingGuitarLessons.com is still coming. Hang tight. You noticed I haven't put up a few videos for a few days. It's mainly just because I could I couldn't. Um, and I didn't want to piss off anybody. Um, and you know, I do want to take care of myself, obviously, too. So, um, I was out here in the studio. It took me about three times as long to get here, but I made it out here. And uh, like I said, I can sit. I was strumming around a little bit on the guitar just acoustically. Um, but, uh, I'm a fighter man, so, uh, and, and I like to think that I have some common sense and some smarts about me. So, uh, I'm going to take really good care of this. There's, I'm sure there's some things I can go ahead and do um, that um, my kids or my wife doesn't have to do, but um, I really try not to do that and, and they've told me, you know, if they see me kind of struggling, they're constantly, you know, Dad, how are you? Mike, how you doing? Um, you need help getting up. I need two people. If I'm getting up, they have to brace their arms like this and if I grab, you know, each one and they have to lift me off my couch, which is where I'm spending a lot of my time. Um, <laughs> we have a system now, but uh, you just gotta, once you, they start pulling me, they can't stop. They, the first few times, it was trial and error, man, and they're waiting for me. And the thing is, as soon as they, they force, or they, or they stop pulling me, um, I'm just suspended there, and it hurts like hell, man. That happened two times. Now we got a system down. So once they pull me, I, I'm like, don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Till I'm actually up. And when it and when it's done right, which they're doing really good with it now, I don't feel a thing. So um, we've really got a system going. Um, it's hectic. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. We had a flood uh, the day after uh, the refrigerator thing. Uh, long story short, my son-in-law was was cleaning out the drawers in the old fridge and uh, the bathtub and he had walked out to do something else and I was in the room and I heard this crazy noise and I saw my cat like with its hair standing up on its back and its tail looking I'm like what the heck and I look over and there's it's like this huge flood coming at me so I got up as quick as I could walked through the the flooded floor into the bathroom and I did have to lean over and turn that off no one else was around um, it's a pretty bad flood, so they're trying to clean that now. On top of that, my son Devin wound up getting bit by a dog, um, and it's a nasty bite, a big gaping wound. That was the day after that. Um, so it's been domino effect, but we have an assembly line going. My family's great and really, really pulling together to uh, make this as, as uh, painless as possible. So. Um, go to rockingguitarlessons.com. Make sure to, to fill out the contact information. It's critical because, uh, as I said and was saying in the other tutorials, it's right around the corner for sure. So get a head start and go over and do that. Um, I'm getting lots of emails about people um, asking about lessons on Skype. Um, so you can keep those coming. I'll, if you don't hear back from me for a day or two, don't flip out. It's just, you know, with things the way they are. But I will get back to you within a matter of days. Um, I probably won't schedule anyone uh, new till after maybe Thursday or Friday. I just got to move it in slow. Tomorrow's going to be a tell-all for me, I think, because I've, I've, I'm going to try to do like three hours in a row. So um, I'll keep you posted. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for your support. The very nice, kind emails. Um, a lot of people that I had never even heard from before and people that had never requested that just wanted to um, wish me well. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate you. Mike Gross, rockinguitarlessons.com.